If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Munford Middle School. And we welcome this morning Ashlyn Seehoffers. And uh, Ashlyn, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having with me. Oh, it's an honor to have you today. Uh, first of all, explain uh, where the name Seehofer comes from. It's German, and it's from my dad. We passed it down from my dad, and it's all my ancestors have that last name, and it's very meaningful to Okay. Us. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, Ashlyn. Okay, so I'm 12 years old. My name is Ashlyn Seehofer. I go to Montford Middle School. I'm in the seventh grade. I have a little brother named Keaton. He's nine years old, and I have a puppy, a Boston Terrier named Zoe. All right. Now, uh, who's your mom and dad? My mom is Misty Seehofer, and my dad is Jamie Seehofer. Okay. Now, uh, your brother is uh, very special to you. In the third grader at Munford uh, Elementary? Yes, sir. He's a cancer survivor and a Down syndrome. He has Down syndrome. Now, talk about your relationship with uh, your brother Keaton. We are very close. We love to play together. I help him when he has trouble, and he just lights up my world. I bet he does, and I, I bet you light up his as well. Talk about your school. Um, Montford's just a great school to be in. People are always nice, and the teachers are willing to help you if you need help. And everybody's nice there, and like you have many friends that can help you. All right, you're in the seventh grade there. Have you been in the Munford system a while? Yes, since second grade. Okay, now, who are some of the teachers there that has impacted your life? Miss McCoy has definitely helped me. She's the seventh grade science teacher. Mm -hmm. She's very helpful and she knows what you're learning about, which helps you know what you're learning about. Because I can go home and tell my parents, I'm learning about this in science because I can know it like fast. Wow. That's fantastic. Um, you are a part of the Student Lighthouse team and the Gifted Educational Program at Munford. Talk about those. Um, the Gifted Education Program was very amazing because we got to learn things that we might not learn in our regular classroom and challenges that helped our brain develop because we were gifted. And the Lighthouse team, it really helped me come out of my box a little bit because I'm usually very shy and I got to stand up in front of the whole school and tell, give all these wonderful awards to all these wonderful kids who have done amazing things all in the school. Right. Uh, Ashlyn Seehofer is our star student of the month. She is a seventh, uh, third grader at Munford, uh, excuse me, uh, seventh grader, and her brother is a third grader. Do you get to see him much at school? Um, not really, since we're in different schools. He's across yeah. the street, yeah. um, on the other side, but definitely we do still, still spend a lot of time together mm. at home. All right, talk about your grades. I have an all-A average. I love to do very well in school. I usually make A's or B's on my tests. I study hard to make sure I make those grades. And if I don't, then I do try to look over and see what I can correct or what I can get better on. All right. Uh, have you had an A average all this time? Yes, sir. Ooh, where to go. Uh, and you're in the honors classes. Yes. What's that about? Those are pre-AP classes, which are basically your kind of um, advanced than other classes, which I have all my core classes, reading, English, history, math, all pre-IP or honors classes, what we like to call them. You said you like to study? Yes. Wow. Uh, you've just been elected president of Munford Middle School Junior Beta Club. Congratulations. Yes. I know Thank you're excited you. about that. Yes, I'm what do you do excited. there? Um, junior Beta is basically a club for like good grades, good conduct, and I really wanted to run for president because I've never ran for office and I wanted to come out of my box a little bit and not be as shy. So we're setting up meetings right now for me to conduct and I'm really excited. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. You were uh, uh, chosen to participate, and I don't know what this is, so I'm, I'm familiar with Duke University, but you were uh, uh, chosen to participate in the Duke University Talent Identification Program. Yes, it's where you take the ACT test that high schoolers take early, and you, I think you ch they choose you every year to take it from then on so they can see like what you're learning because you scored advanced on my recent mm -hmm. standardized test. Okay. All right. Uh, Ashlyn Seehofer is our star student of the month. She is a seventh grader uh, at Munford Middle School. Now, let's get to Zoe. <laughs> Talk about Zoe, who is your... Uh, 
uh, pet Boston Terrier. Yes, so Zoe is my pet Boston Terrier. She is so cute. She recently had she recently had her birthday in August, so she turned one year old. But in dog years, that's seven. So it made me sad, but she's so cute. She's black and white, and she has the cutest little face ever. So that's your buddy, huh? Okay. Yes. Uh, you have been separated this year, I guess it's this year, or maybe uh, a year prior, from your brother who has uh, uh, Down syndrome and, and uh, as a survivor of childhood cancer. How difficult has that been? So yes, the prior to a year when I was in sixth grade, we got separated because he was at the elementary school. It was kind of hard for me because I love to watch over him and I worry about him. But as the year goes on, it gets a little bit easier because I can see him when I'm home from school and he can tell me everything that he did. And if I feel like something's not right, I can tell my mom and she can help me figure it out. That's wonderful. Uh, always good to have... Uh, uh, loved ones that you can help out and they can help you out as well. Uh, you got to have a good support program and I know your family provides that. Yes, my mom and my dad definitely helped me. When I was running for junior beta president, my mom was like, you can do this, I believe in you, because I was so scared. I was like, I'm not going <laughs> to win. I can't do this. And my dad definitely helps me with my grades. If I need help studying, he can help me. And Keaton, he watches over me like a hawk. Like he won't let me do anything without him by my side. So mm. he definitely helps me a lot too. How have you overcome the shyness? Obviously, you're not shy. You're on television, to six hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> yeah, households. I kind so. of have to help myself and tell myself to believe in myself. Definitely, my mom and my dad help me do that too. If I have them with me, I can like feel more comfortable. Or I just mm. tell myself to believe in myself. Don't be shy. What did you do at Thanksgiving? This Thanksgiving we went to the water park because my brother's birthday falls around Thanksgiving. Yay. So we just went and played at the water park for him and we just like got to go from Cracker Barrel so we don't have to cook at yeah. the hotel. I bet that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Well, you're back to school. Well, Y'all were out of school what? We were out of school the day before Thanksgiving, yeah. the day of Thanksgiving, and the day after Thanksgiving. So you're back today? Yes, sir. You excited about going back to school? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. Let's have a little fun, all right? All right, favorite food? Chicken. Okay. Fried chicken, baked chicken? Like chicken nuggets. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> movies? Lion King. I love Lion King. I'm excited because there's a new one coming. <clears throat> That's right. And uh, <clears throat> I saw the original Lion King. Did you yes. see that one too? I love Lion King. So what's the, what's the new one about, you think? I think it's like more real. Like, okay. Because you know how the other one was animated? Like, mm -hmm, so I think mm -hmm. this one's like kind of more like the latest, like modern anime. You know, that, uh, The Lion King, uh, in some parts, it was very sad, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm, like that. But. I like the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like to read? Yes. So -so. Sometimes. Yeah, we usually read on literacy block every morning at okay. school. Now, uh, like to travel? Yes, I love to travel. I want to travel the world someday. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Ashlyn Seehofer, who's our star student of the month, who's a seventh grader at Munford Middle School. Who is someone that when you're having a, a bad moment or maybe a, even a bad day that you can lean on, you can talk to, and know they're not going to judge you, they're going to give you sound advice? My mom definitely, when I get home, if I've had a bad day, but if I'm like at school, then definitely my best friend Emma, Emma Turner, shout out to Emma, there because she, goes. she is like wonderful. Like if I'm having trouble with some of my work, she helps me. If I need help with anything, or if I like have a bad day and I cry, or if I have an anxiety attack, she helps me. Okay, Ashlyn, thank you for coming today. Thank you for having me. Hope you have me. a fantastic uh, uh, day today, and say hello to your parents and uh, your brother as well, okay? Yes, and definitely. especially to Zoe. Yes. All right. More Daybreak coming up right after this time. Out. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by TV47. Tune in to Daybreak weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month.